Progress. Canada has made a significant amount of progress in its treatment of Indigenous peoples. Oppression of Indigenous peoples did occur, but that's a thing of the past. We have moved on to a better and brighter future, and equality has been achieved. This is the myth of progress. As stated by Chelsea Vowell in Indigenous Rights, the belief that progress is attached to the passage of time and that things are always getting better drives the myth of progress. The myth of progress is complex in itself, as it is supported and reinforced by various other myths, misconceptions, and stereotypes, such as racism no longer exists. Indigenous populations are in the state they are because of their bad decisions alone. Indigenous people are treated equal to non-Indigenous people, among countless others. As stated by Val, every single one of us, Indigenous and non-Indigenous, have been fed a series of lies, half-truths, and fantasies intended to create a cohesive national identity, but in doing so have robbed Indigenous peoples of their history and identities. This is not new news by any means. Many people are aware of this myth of progress, yet do not take the actions to uncover it. Although individual efforts have been made, Fowell states that this cannot be an individual exercise and must be a national one. We must share our histories, learn the histories, and reflect these histories in everything we do. If we continue to fuel the myth of progress by believing that progress is indeed being made, that the past is in the past and that equality has been achieved, the myth will not only remain a myth, but it will become a fantasy forever out of our reach. As stated by Vowell, Canada will not crumble and fall apart if we become honest and aware of the history of these lands and the incredible diversity of contributions of people among them. It's time that we fill in the missing pieces and recognize and honor history as being more than the thing of the past, but a reflection of the present and future.